we're looking at a basically a noxious weed or a, um, garden weed. It's uh, called cudweed or uh, everlasting. Um, these generic terms. It's a uh, basically medicinal plant and or food. Um, in my opinion, not legally. Um, I couldn't legally sell you this as food, but I'm eating it. I eat it all the time. The reason why it's called cudweed is because when you're eating it, um, it makes a really good chew, and um, it balls up into a, a, I don't know how to explain it, but kind of like a, a spongy type of substance that you can chew on like gum. It tastes really good, really minty, and um, it's got white cotton type of uh, fibers all over it that are uh, protected from the water and um, I don't recollect um, its Latin name or um, what it is but when it flowers it's budding right now these are all buds these will turn all red little red flowers and um, I'm sure it's got some um, documented um, use somewhere. Um, if not, I assure you it's it's a good medicinal and uh, food or an herb and um, tobacco replacement for um, chewing is a, this is a preferred plant and or an admixture to choose would be a good substance, would be a good replacement. Alright, peace. This is a fully flowered uh, cut flower everlasting and uh, people dry them out because you can um, use, they uh, retain their structure after they dry out and um, they're really nice and like I said it's an edible and medicinal herb of some sort. Um, I'm sure research will uh, verify that. Um, my research verifies this. I'm a bioassist and uh, I'm telling you that I've eaten this and um, I like it and uh, I'm gonna um, go do a lot more research on this particular plant.